Kia ora, good evening. A new report has found growing evidence that man-made chemicals are behind a global surge in cancer, birth defects and infertility cases. Many of the chemicals are used every day in our homes, schools and offices. Jane Luscombe reports. Vast deposits of gas lie under this land. Campaigners want it to stay there. They say the chemicals used to extract it are endocrine disruptors, or EDCs. They affect fertility and development, but the damage can stay hidden for years. If somebody's feeling sick and they go to a doctor for tests, unless the doctor or the physician specifically tests for those chemicals, the tests won't reveal their presence. And that's why we're only finding about a dozen years later that the health effects are now coming up. It's an issue that's not limited to industry. The same dangers lurk in our homes and offices. Malcolm Rands has campaigned against EDCs for 20 years. His products are deliberately made without them. But the chemicals are found in many other everyday items, from toys and food containers to cosmetics and cleaning products. This was the tobacco industry, then there was big processed food, and now household chemicals, you know. It, it's improving, I can see in the future, um, these chemicals would have disappeared and people would have thought, why on earth were us, we covering our bodies in petrochemicals? Nearly 800 chemicals are believed to interfere with our endocrine or hormonal system. A report for the United Nations and World Health Organization says another 145,000 chemicals are still untested. As their use has grown, there's been a surge in endocrine-related disorders, including testicular and breast cancer. Asthma in children has more than doubled in 20 years, and there's been a dramatic worldwide drop in fertility rates, with up to 40% of men now having low sperm counts. The report's authors say it's a global threat and more research is vital to confirm the link between the EDCs and the health disorders. Another concern is that many manufacturers don't list all of the chemicals that they use in their products, so it's likely we're being exposed to an even higher risk than that estimated by the researchers. Jane Luscombe, 3 News.